Hi everyone, have you been looking for a free file sync program which has a simple interface that is easy to follow? If you have, then try the sync tool from AOMA Back Upper Standard. With this freeware, you can schedule the sync so it runs automatically. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do so. First, what you need to do is download and install AOMA Back Upper Standard. See my previous video on how to do it. What you need for the file sync is an external hard drive, so you can keep one copy of your files in a safe place. After the installation, start AOMA Back Upper Standard. This is the home page, where you can see the task. I go to Sync, and create a basic sync. Under basic sync, I give it a task name so I can easily recognize what it does. For example, PC3 Finance Report. Then I click on this button to add the source folder. My source folder is this accounts folder on the C drive. Then I go to this bar to select the path to the destination. My destination is the PC3 folder on E drive. As you can see on the right, before I run the file sync, the PC3 folder is empty. Then I click on Start Sync. Do you see that everything in this accounts folder was copied over? I already showed you how easily I sync my files. In this section, I'll show you how to schedule the task so it can run automatically and how to restore a single file from the backup media. First, this is the task that I created in the previous section. Let's click on the menu and select shortcuts so the program will create a shortcut on the desktop. When I click on this shortcut, the task runs and copies all changes to the destination. Do you see that the three new files were copied over? Now let's go to the menu, select Properties, and open the logs. I can see all the logs, and I can also look into the details, like if it is successful or fails with an error code. Next, I will show you how I schedule the sync so it can run automatically. Let's go to the menu again, click on Schedule, turn it on. I have several options daily on a particular date, at a particular time, every day at a particular time, or regularly during this period. I can let the program wake my computer up and what it does after the sync. In the advanced setting, I can choose between Windows Scheduler or the sync service to handle the job including how to handle a missing job when the computer starts next time. If I don't want to schedule it daily, I can change it to weekly on a particular date at a particular time. Or I can change it to monthly on any particular date. Then I click OK. After this setting is done, the sync will run automatically as scheduled. Next, I will show you how to restore a single file from the backup media. Let's delete one file in the source, let's say by accident. What I'm going to do is restore that file. So I'll go to the Restore menu, then I select the task name. Then I click Next. Then go to the folders where I can find the file I want to restore. This is a file I want to restore to the source. Then I click on Next, and then Start Restore. As you can see on the right, the file is restored to its original location. In this section, I will show you two more options for the sync. Option 1, sync the deletions in the source to the destination. Basically, it means when I delete the files in the source, the program will delete them in the destination during the next sync. Or option 2, verify the file in the destination. This means that if I accidentally delete the files in the destination, 
those files will be copied over during the next sync. In order to access these options, I click on Menu, select Edit Sync, and the option, tick on the first option, then click OK. Now go to the Source folder, delete the Q3 file as I don't need it anymore, then start Sync now. You will see that the Q3 file is deleted in the destination. Any deletion in the source is done in the destination. Now let's go to the menu again. Select Edit Sync. This time, tick on the second option. Then click OK. Then go to the destination and delete the Q2 file, let's say by accident. Then start Sync now. You will see the Q2 is copied over again. Basically, that is all about the basic sync using AOMA Backupper Standard. If you found this video helpful, please support us by clicking on the subscribe button and see our next video. Thanks for watching.